React is very famous among developers for creating their front ends. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create the Azure DevOps pipeline, which will help us to continue integrate and CD. Let's see this diagram. We have our code in Azure repository. You can have any VCS, then whenever the developer do some modification, do some commits or raise pull request, then CI pipeline will trigger on which is hosted on Azure pipeline. Then you can see that uh, this pipeline have some tests. I have mentioned this test, but you can add the test as per your requirement and uh, what the needs fulfill you then build step then once we have artifact then we deploy that artifact to azure web app azure web app is uh, we are not going to talk much in very depth but azure web app is a platform as a service from the azure where you can host your workload application uh, it's for multiple language like java dot net uh, next react and many more let's see how we can uh, proceed uh, we have already some videos like you can see of building java web app android cicd web app uh, android cicd after build you can deploy the google play store if you want to see this tutorial you can visit our this playlist I will share link in the demo in the description let's come back to the today video i'm sharing this file with uh, description also in the my youtube video so let's start the pipeline it's in a yaml format let's have some uh, format like on which on how it will be get trigger so first part is the trigger part whenever someone do uh, commits raise pr on the u8 branch it will be get trigger but uh, azure pipeline.yaml is our devops file i don't want to get triggered when devops is doing whenever the task is done by or uh, changes are done by the you can say dev then only it should trigger then we have variables in azure devops if i explain you what are the variables they are the values which can be stored as in secrets and we can fetch them securely from library which in uh, behind the scene is getting the secret from the key vault as per your configuration what you select like here, we have described the Sonar Crate group. Under the group, we may have multiple uh, variables or variables which are mentioned as secrets. Then we have some uh, like uh, local variables, you can say, which I'm declaring here, agent image, and giving its value as Ubuntu latest. Then another local variables like project folder, and giving here its value uh, dot means current folder then secure file uh, i'm giving this secure file a name dot env dot u8 so as you see uh, one i mentioned the group from where it's fetching it's fetching from the library so library may can fetch it through the keyboard so let's move we have uses these stages stages is a kind of way of writing the yaml and distributing in a better way like you can make the build as per the high level function like build one is one function and second one is the state uh, deploy one so whatever you are selecting uh, or going to choose how much stages you are going to create depends on what you are writing there so in most of the cicd you have two major uh, stages one is the build and another one is the deploy let's start uh, under the stages we have job which is build job 
under that we are calling the pool here we are using the azure hosted hosted agent which is uh, providing us the ubuntu latest os environment to build the react app then start uh, here uh, is a little catch when you deploy the uh, react application you require a dot env file that env file will be shared by the dev it will consist of the backends and uh, other things like backend api urls and others that's the provide will provided by the dev uh, you have to what i am doing i am downloading the secure file from the secure file and the secure file is the option under the library where you can upload directly the confidential files so i uploaded that file by a name of .env.uat and uh, i'm mentioning here to download that file so when this file get downloaded this will get downloaded under the temp directory so if you look at the next step what i'm saying here go take the temp directory source folder and uh, look for the secure file then uh, target folder is the project folder project folder you all already seen that it's dot means the current folder where uh, the pipeline is running then clean after that you have copied that clean that folder I mean why it's required because you can think that this is the secure file you can't leave that as it is you have to clean that then we have the dot env uh, dot env dot uat file in the current folder now we have to rename that to dot env so this is the bash script bash command i am using to rename that file otherwise uh, your project will fail when you build that and uh, now we have the dot env file which is our dependency now we can go for the other dependency as it's the react and react is the framework of node.js we require the node uh, we can do the installation tasks we can use the installation tasks which we are mentioning i am installing 6.x uh, at which language your dev has written the code you have to use that node module then we can come here to sast1 uh, dependency are done here we have dot env we have node then we have sonar cube under that sonar cube we have uh, if you remember we have a variable group sonar cred under that we have a key which i am calling here digital api key uh, which this key is required uh, to check to configure the sonar cube as this sonar cube is the you can say i have created a uh, link between or uh, between the Azure so as a service connection. This is my service connection where authentication of Sonar Cube is stored. But in Sonar Cube, we have multiple projects. So, to deal with the multiple projects, we require a key that is key generated and saved in the library group. This is key uh, required because we should we want that the data should go to the particular project, not to the wrong one. Now, we are done with the all the necessary steps before build now uh, we will run this script uh, first is the npm install it will install the dependency it will create the node modules uh, in your temporary this microsoft hosted agent once this done it will took some time uh, depending upon how much the you modules you have written then you will run that command npm run build when you run that command the build will happen it will also take around one minute of time then you have the build uh, folder build or something folder there we will talk about that then we are saying that the do this nr cube uh, execution here we are using the sonar cube task so we don't have to mention that where you have to ma uh, go for that it automatically ch uh, check the code and uh, analyze it once it's done the analyze it will also take around 30 seconds to one minute then you can publish the report then by using this key it will be authenticated with via this 
uh, connection then uh, the report will be sent to the target project under that sonar queue now we will copy that build folder to the artifactory staging folder then we are publishing that artifactory staging folder under the artifact name drop under that uh, location is the container till now here uh, our build process is done let me just uh, go through once again before going to deploy first we have declared the trigger how my pipeline should get trigger some necessary variables which are required uh, as an they can't be option they are required one that uh, required to build the application then we are downloading the secure file which we require in the react uh, is the dot env file then other dependency node itself we are installing the node required version then we are preparing the sonar queue via giving its a proper key of the project then we are installing the dependency building the project then doing the sonar queue analysis publishing the report and the build uh, is generated by uh, during that build process we are copying that to artifactory staging then we are uh, publishing it that once it get published it will reach here and it will check uh, this is the deploy stage it what it's doing it will deploy your artifact to your web app but uh, before doing it to web app it will check it uh, like you can set multiple type of uh, things here like uh, you are saying that whenever build come from the uet branch then only this stage will trigger otherwise should skip that trigger a uh, stage means uh, the code present in your web app is equal to code present in uet branch then we saying that to be a uh, uet environment then we are defining some variable uh, that artifact is on drop then web app on windows uh, you that's just for the reference purpose then we have web app name my this is my web app name on azure this is my resource group name then uh, this is the default system directory then i am defining a target url this is not required for the deploy but i will give you why i have used that then we are defining again the pool where this deploy stage will run once it start there is the environment and under that environment you can do multiple things you can set up the settings permissions who should can approve this deploy stage like it's not like that uh, we are applying the delivery model so whenever the csd pipeline trigger it will also always require the permission from the desired groups desired members so they are mentioned in that environment then we can proceed further first step we are downloading the artifact second step we are by using this talk azure rm web app deployment we are deploying the web uh, artifact to the web app web app is on the uh, azure and uh, we are our application or pipeline is on the azure devops how we are authenticating from azure devops to azure by using this uh, azure subscription uh, it is the service principle we have used to create the connection between there and uh, in the azure we have mentioned uh, or created a service connection by name of sp which have the credits of that particular service connection then we have web app name resource group name package for linux then deployment will happen till now your ci cd pipeline is done so first you have done the deploy and uh, now you have done the uh, first you have done the build then you have done this deploy there is one bonus uh, task for you uh, if you reach till that time of video uh, i am doing something yet i am doing the docker installation uh, docker version installation then i am running this docker command uh, this is the jdi proxy uh, latest image 
and we are passing our target URL there and generating a report. So then after that report is got generated, I am just copying that and after that we are publishing that report to container also. Uh, when I explaining you the diagram, I set the deploy. Once deploy is done, there is one more step then that is um, once the deploy happen it is the test then application security testing uh, on the test i have made a detailed video on same my youtube channel uh, you can browse through that and get benefited so if i explain you a little bit uh, test here test is the dynamic application security testing as we are already doing this in our testing but some code level testing is done but uh, once the application actually get deployed this test happened then means how your application react after it's get deployed and it's get live then uh, this OS Jap is helpful in that and we are using that OS Jap uh, test free tool OS Jap and uh, via this docker image there are multiple uh, tools available. Some of there are free, like Webjet, and some of are commercials. Uh, feel free to use any of that. They are very helpful in improving their uh, cyber security. So let's wrap up this video. If uh, you have any suggestion, please do the comment. Thanks everyone for joining.